Hey there! Welcome back to Ang Band. Uh, it's the same damn day. I haven't left for Christmas vacation yet. I got some of my chores out of the way. I'm rewarding myself with a half hour game session. And look at this. Behold and tremble, mortals, at the logic of writing down the time. It's 11.34. I can go to 12.04. Then I'll go do some more goddamn chores. Okay. File open. I am loving this, man. Damn good game. I didn't test to see if you could hear that. I should have, or if it drowned me out. Too late. Uh, I'll have to test later. Um, let's return to the fray. I hope it's not deafening to you, or... Or still, it, it, to be honest, if it's inaudible, there's nothing I can do to fix that. Um, it looks like the only way through this is I'm going to have to go through the goddamn... Uh, well, we can go up here and go through some of these walls up here to get some of this stuff. Wield too. Let me pull this towards me again. Oops, I didn't mean to wield. I meant to tunnel. Still have a topaz ring that we're not sure what it does. We found that one scroll of identify. We haven't found any more, and I'm surprised we've never seen any in stores. Again, because of the changes to 4.1.3. I can't be sure. Maybe they've been removed from stores. Like maybe it's, maybe you have to find them to use them. Maybe that's a, an intentional thing that uh, the current maintainer added to the game. I don't know. <laughs> Going right through the granite. Sometimes you have to, of course. That was a long way to go for that. <laughs> oh, we have a longbow. When the hell did we get this longbow? Times three plus eight plus four. With some sort of special power as well. Let's, um... Let's wield this. You know what? Let's do it and hope it's not cursed. If it is, we'll go back to town and use our remove curse thing. Let's wield this longbow. So we were using a plus two plus three short bow. Oh, we learned. Okay, as soon as you use it, you learn the thing. We've learned the rune of shooting speed. We have a long bow of extra shots, plus eight, plus four, plus one. Your bow tingles in your hands. Let's take a look at that. So this is definitely better than our short bow. We can probably just drop the short bow. We will if we run into any... Well, we'll drop it right now because of the uh, slowness. Let's take a look at this. Drop by Smeagol. I didn't even notice. Plus one shooting speed. So it's going to do a lot more. So the, the damage is multiplied by three instead of two. So instead of doing two to eight damage, our arrows do three to twelve. Uh, it has plus 8 to hit, I think, instead of plus 2, so it'll hit a lot easier. And it does plus 4 damage instead of plus 3, so it'll also do an extra damage from that. Uh, and it looks like we get maybe plus 1 shots per turn. Let's drop... What? You were holding... No, I'm not trying to drop it. Get it. <laughs> Equip it. No, for God's sakes, wield. Drop. We're going to drop the short bow, the old magical short bow, which served us well. But there you go, our speed is back up to full now. That's a good thing. A little warm. Let me remove this heavy, heavy ass over sweater thing. I don't know what you call this heavy shirt that I'm wearing over top of my shirt. And strap my microphone back into place. Okay. And then continue. You little... Whoa. Uh, Don't need potions of boldness. Those, uh... Remove fear. We've got a spell that'll do that. Let's not bog ourselves down with crap we don't need. Our light went out. Let's press Shift-F to fuel the lantern with that. I think that'll instantly, uh... Yeah. There we go. We can see again. Definitely don't need standard sandals. I'm guessing um, Worm Tongue cast that thing that, uh, that made those traps appear. I don't know that for sure, though. A rattlesnake can definitely poison us. Let's try hitting it with our uh, arrows. Yeah, a couple of arrows, we got them. Nice new longbow. Potion of information we do not need. Do not need. Can't believe we're still using a dagger. <laughs> 
Magical dagger, granted, but a dagger. All right, man, we'll take that. Wands of Stinking Cloud, those will be good for now. Eventually they'll be useless when the monsters... When the, the damage from a Stinking Cloud is no longer enough to really hurt a monster, it'll be completely useless. But for now, let's use it. You can just start using it with more abandon than we have been. Oh, can we gain a new spell? No, we can't. I thought maybe we could, and... No, we can't. Wildcat. <laughs> Eight plus five and a magical ability. Let's grab that in a second. Let's look at our own equipment. What are we using? Our current uh, soft leather armor is eight plus five. This is eight plus five and has some special abilities. Let's try. Let's try equipping it and hope we're not sad. But we'll learn. We'll learn in the rune either way, right? You were wearing soft leather armor eight plus eight plus five or eight plus five. You are wearing soft leather armor eight plus five and a question mark. I guess we didn't learn it right away. For some reason, let's carry the old one around for the moment in case. Uh... In case uh, it turns out this is a problem, what is that large R? That's a giant red frog. We don't want to mess with that. Let's aim a wand of stinking cloud. Now again, is there a? Can we press? Let's try pressing the asterisk or the. Uh, pardon me, the. So it automatically shot. That's fine. I don't mind hitting that. What are we hitting? A green mold? Resist poison. Is hurt by fire. Don't know anything about its attack. Don't want to find out anything about its attack. Sure, we'll take that. <clears throat> Why not, after all? Given we lost one to some sort of fire attack earlier, I think it was the giant salamander who got us with that fiery breath. That was a little frightening. I won't be able to play... I mean, I'm getting as many games as I can today because I won't be able to play for several days. Um, at least two days. And then um, we will be able to play any roguelikes for at least two days. And then I don't know what my work schedule, etc. is going to be like upon re return after that, so uh, I don't, I, I'll probably be able to play three days from now, but probably not for the next couple of days. Almost certainly not, because I'm not going to be in town. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to get as much out of the way as I can with it today. Oh, there's a lot of guys there. What are they? Gallants and a scout. Aim. No, it's a zap. A rod of light. Also has the uh, benefit of lighting that area up. The gallant conjures up scary horrors. You're terrified. Okay. Let's aim. A stinking cloud wand. Sure. Let's just sit right there. And then again. Let's just, let's just use a lot of these. We don't want to carry them forever. They're not going to be useful for much longer, to be honest with you. Um... Because the monsters are just going to be too uh, powerful for it to matter. So we might as well use them now while we can. And then we can drop them and free up some space. The crow jeers in pain. The gallant dies. You feel bolder again. Okay. Now we'll shoot. I don't know if we could shoot normally when we're frightened or not. Potions of cure light wounds, yes, we will take those for now because we just used all of ours in our battle against Smeagol and Wormtongue. Wormtongue, I guess. He's poison, I believe. Do we know that? Nothing's known about his attack. What can we read about it? Dripping with acid. We do not want to fuck with it. If we can avoid it, let's, though, go to here. Let's zap a rod of light to the left. Lighting it up. Possibly hurting that dude. Maybe not. Um, let's attack. No, let's fire. Pardon me. H. We did get it. It doesn't seem to have done anything to us. Thank God. 
Hill Orc. Some money, some more arrows back. Don't need a short bow. Under that rubble. A wolf. That's new. Not not a challenge to us though. Even slow, it's not a challenge to us. Just curious if there's a secret door. Nope, no secret doors. We know that instantly. See, it still required effort on our part, but it's not like endless effort. Let's fucking pick this up and use it, even though we have a staff that'll do the same thing. Rod. All right. What is that? That's a giant white ant. Probably cold, but I don't know that. It's not worth much. It's not a, not a threat. And that's just food. Let's get this for a second. Let's eat C. Let's eat C. Oh, we're already full. Let's drop C. Don't need any more food. We've got our scrolls of Satisfy Hunger that are more than sufficient. I don't even know if we need to carry food, technically. We can find so much laying around down here, it seems. It's almost uh, not an issue. That little sound you just heard there, well, if you heard it, uh, the crow made when it attacked me, it was a little kind of biting sound, like... <laughs> it sounds very much like the sound I use in caverns when... when um, monsters eat one of your... well, eat something of yours, especially like a spell book or, or like a spell out of your spell book or something. Um, so it freaks me out every time I hear it. Let's fucking get these guys with... aim... wand of stinking cloud... Yes, we're using all the charges. What do we give a shit, man? We got tons of them. Um, and it's not even just that. It's that we want to drop stuff to carry more. So I don't mind. If it makes the combat that after, thereafter ensues much easier, then screw it. And again, you can see even, even multiple hits didn't kill these guys off. So the, the Wand of Stinging Cloud, very useful in the early levels of the dungeon. Oh, we got a fourth one. <laughs> Um, not so useful now, per se. So we'll, we'll get rid of all the charges and we'll just drop them all and then have a little less weight we're carrying around. Is that it for the map? Offhand, that seems to be the level. Small level. What level are we? We're 14. We can go down to dungeon level 10 without fear. By virtue of my old logic of how deep we should be going. Let's go. seems a tame sheltered place level two level we could just go up the stairs and keep coming back down until we find a, one with more monsters or something but i don't see a reason to risk that right now do you we're not that tough here yeah, we're at level 15 we can gain a new spell as well from the holy book of prayers wisdom we learn to resist heat and cold I know basically what that does, but let's take a look at it. Browse with B, Holy Book of Prayers number two. And we're going to look at um, pressing question mark. I don't know why it's not just default on. Gives you temporary resistance to cold and fire for 10 plus 1 to 10 turns each. Uh, grab those scrolls, why not? If we're out of mana and we need to portal away, then that'll, uh, those phase door scrolls will help us out a lot. They also won't fail. Occasionally we can fail when we're casting a spell, right? Pre, pre B. We want to try out Sanctuary and Resist Heat and Cold, by the way, soon, just to get the experience for casting them. Let's try it right now. I know we don't need to, but let's... All the more reason to use it when it's safe. Let's Sanctuary him. Nope, didn't work. Let's rest until our... Everything's back. Okay. Not a spell, or not a secret door there. Out of curiosity, this looks like an ideal spot. Nope.
Oh, a ring. A platinum ring. Whatever it is, it has a minus two... Um, I don't know what that is. Minus two to something. We can tell that. We're not going to put it on. An amulet of teleportation? Let's take it and we can give it away later, maybe? I don't know. We don't have room. Let's drop the old soft leather armor. I'm feeling fairly confident that we're okay with this. Take the amulet of teleportation. We can give that away and learn more about it. We don't need a sling. <clears throat> I didn't see what we're looking at. Something mumbles. You are blind. Let's uh, let's quaff a potion of cure light wounds, which will also get rid of our blindness. Okay, some sort of dragon. Look, that is a pseudo dragon. Oh, okay. This evil dragon is normally found at depths of five hundred feet. Level ten is where we are. A kill of this dragon is worth a hundred points for a fifteenth level character. Apparently, that's pretty awesome. It illuminates its surroundings, so we can see it. That's why. Uh, nothing is known about its attack. Let's zap it with a rod of light. Oh, let's get out of let's get out of the uh, look. Z K. So we hit it. It resists bright light. We just learned something about it. Let's also let's find out other stuff. Let's let's find out what our copper wand does. Not entirely sure yet. Uh, it grunts with pain, though. Whatever it was. Darkness surrounds you. You're hit by something. You're blind. Um, just out of curiosity, what what is this thing I just used? A wand of magic missile. Again, not going to be very useful for long. Let's use it and get rid of it. Um, let's quaff. D. Kill this thing. Kill the fruit bat. What do we have to the left of us? A dark elven mage. Let's kill it fast. Fuck. Quaff. D. Oh. All right, it's dead at least. I'm not sure. Maybe that was what was blinding me that whole time. I'm not sure if it's this guy. It doesn't say anything about him doing anything like that. I thought it was him, but maybe the Dark Elf Mage was what was blinding me. You can definitely see it pays to have some uh, cure spells on hand. Or cure potions. Um... Yes, we have cure light wounds of our own, like our own spell, but if you're blind, you can't read the spell out of your spell book or a scroll. But you can still drink a potion. I mean, those are nice for a crossbow, but... Yeah, let's get them, and we'll bring them up to our house and drop them in our house. And then when we have a crossbow, someday, if we ever do, we'll have some bolts. Unless we need to chuck them up before then because we're storing too much in our house or something. Who knows? first staircase down we could go down we're not going to though we're going to explore the entirety of the level casting light oh we got a bunch, bunch of things those are uruk -hai? is that what that is let's look I guess we can see over here can't we those are mains um, I always get confused whether mains are like an undead being or a uh, demon but here in this game at the very least they're demons it says it is a minor but aggressive demon evil demon so if you had something that was good against evil or something that was good against demons you'd be all set we also have a black heart we don't know anything about it though they're not worth that much we have a black harpy and a skeleton let's um let's go to here let's aim a wand of stinking cloud left aim let's get rid of all of these if we can something about it resists a lot uh sorry uh the black harpy does not resist poison but the mains might no it does not resist poison resist fire it does not resist poison all right keep going with the wands of stinking cloud oh the skeleton resist the skeleton guy let's look at him by using these as well, you also learn about the resistances, right? Resist cold and poison. That's fine.
I don't know why I'm going online. We don't have to go in a parallel line with these guys. I don't need the one magic missile for long either. It's just not going to be a value for long. So I might as well get rid of it and get something out of it, right? Two teak stabs. We got to find what those do as well. I mean, I'm collecting those now, right? Let's drop the wand of magic missile. It's just not that valuable to us. Do you want to learn about it while we're here? Um, let's uh, let's look at this first inventory. So it does three to twelve damage, um, increased by thirty nine percent. So it's it's just not that great. We have our bow, which does at least that, if not more. Oops, we're trying to uh, drop. Pardon me. Uh, drop uh, L. Okay, get rid of that. We'll take the potion to cure serious wounds. We'll add it to our stash in the uh, house, but pretty soon we're going to have to swap over from cure light wounds to cure serious wounds. We probably even should. Uh, as soon as we get back, we should probably do that. While we're here, let's do our extra prayer, B. Oh, I guess not. Oh, well, I can cast Resist Heat and Cold. Don't have enough mana. I literally don't have enough mana to cast the spells at my disposal. i got to get my wisdom up. I am not the greatest of paladins. When we were creating our character, if we were, if we were doing the base role, I would have waited until we had high strength, wisdom, and probably constitution, like we did with Sir Kinnerath in Moria. Um, but with the point-based system... I, for some reason, it wasn't allowing me to pull anything out of wisdom or, or anything out of certain things to put it into wisdom, so I don't know. Whatever. We took the base recommended character. That's fine. In terms of stats. Lots of cave spiders. Yeah, sure, we'll take that. Definitely cluster, eh? Those things. It's way down. Let's uh, dig up this rubble. You are no longer stunned. Was I stunned? What was I stunned? Did I hit a trap? Oh, I bet you I hit a trap and it dropped the, that rubble stuff. Let's just look over here in the messages. Yeah, a rock falls in your head. You stumble upon a trap, a rock falls in your head. That's why that rubble appeared that way. Interesting. So it stunned us and put some rubble down that was uh, a bit problematic for us. Brown mold. Do we know anything about it? No. Not in terms of its ability, its damage. I don't know. What are you? Uh, that is a rot jelly. We know a lot about that. We know enough to say let's stay away. But let's uh, let's hit it with a wand, a rod of light. It is hurt by bright light, so it did extra damage to it. Let us therefore. Do we have a? Um, we have wands of light. Let's do it. Again, we're not going to be carrying these things for long. We are not going near that because it can drain our wisdom. We found it the hard way. Unlike in Moria. Let's go this way. P A E. Light up the room. Let's also rest. How are we doing for time? We need to go to 11. 1204. I was like, holy fuck, we went an hour past, but no. 1204. <laughs> so this is impassable. We can't, we can't walk through the white ones unless we dig it out first. The brown ones you can walk over or and or dig up. The first zombie. The zombified kobold. Not a problem. 
my throat is getting very dry and tired from talking. I've been playing a lot today. Definitely takes a lot out of my voice. <gasps> I didn't even... I, I walked too fast there, guys. He got my wisdom. Well, let's get it with uh, the rest of it with a rod of light. I didn't even do it right. All right, let's aim our wands of light. They're not even worth that much. I find it surprising, given they drain stats. So we're not going to get that back until we either, you know, get a potion that restores it, or until we get up a level. I think probably the the latter is what's going to happen. Let's go to the left. It's not the end of the world right now. Let's hit it with an arrow, because they are poisonous. What is he? That is a hairy mold. Let's fucking hit with the arrows. Another rot jelly. Zap it with a rod of light. Aim at it with a wand of light. And again. Yeah, and a lot of these wands and stuff, they're they're low enough level that we can we can kind of get rid of them because they're not gonna <gasps> an ever burning lantern. Um let's drop <laughs> our current lantern. Uh let's equip unequip F and drop. Okay, we already dropped it. You have no more lanterns. Let's get this. Holy shit. Equip. No, wield. What the hell's going on? Did we not get it? No. Whoa! Okay, so speaking of blindness, <laughs> let's quaff D. Let us definitely... If we haven't gotten it, have we gotten it? You have no room for it. Okay, um... Fuck. That's our infravision allowing us to see him. Let's just walk up and hack him as best we can. Okay, let's drop something for a minute. For a minute, let's drop this Lucerne Hammer. Let's get this. Let's wield T. As I understand it... Oh, fuck, we gotta do this again. Get. Um, as I understand it, we no longer need to carry flasks of oil. This will just burn forever. Um, that's pretty awesome. Let's start chucking our flasks of oil to get rid of them. We'll start firing, them, throwing them at the next thing we meet, just for the sake of it. Free up some inventory slots, and uh, wait. Is there another dark elf? No, I thought I saw one for a second. Have, have we explored this map? We have. That's the map. Pretty cool map. We are level fifteen. We can easily go down to level eleven without being endangered. Let's do it. Let's continue exploring again for a few minutes. Actually, we're at the two, two minutes left in the half hour mark, so let's uh, call it here once we go down. Make sure we didn't leave anything behind we need, right? I don't think we did. Let's go down. We are on dungeon level... What? 15! We're getting there, guys. We're 15% of the way. I'm going to stop recording here. I am going to play one more round. I'm going to come back and play again. Just because I I can't emphasize to you how much fun I'm having with this. Um, then I'll go do some more chores. I'll play some more, and then I'll go, and then I'll go on vacation. It's a good life, guys. All right, let's press escape. Let's do this together. I don't even need to do that. Let's just uh, let's just stop recording. I'll talk to you soon.